So hello everyone, my name is The Armchair Athlete and today I am going to explain to you what NAS storage is. NAS, Network Attached Storage. So no, this is not an advertisement for anything. Sure, if you want to check out what I use, which is the Western Digital MyCloud, link is in the description, but it's not an advertisement. This is to explain to you what network attached storage is, and if you're wondering where I am right now, I am in what I call my studio for my football coach and basketball coach, Allen Channels, also link in the description. But anyways, so basically a network attached storage is the type of storage that you would have connected to your router essentially so that you would have a password on it and you're able to access that hard drive from anywhere in the world. Are you confused yet? So basically how this works is it's a hard drive inside of a special enclosure, and special a special box that has a wire coming out of it. It uses power, obviously, you would plug it into the wall, and then you would have a networking cable, Ethernet cable, CAT6 or 5 cable. Have I confused you yet? I hope not. So basically, it's an internet cable, looks like a telephone line, but it's bigger, and you would plug it into the hard drive, that the special box for the hard drive, and then also into your router, which gives you wireless internet. From there, basically what you're doing is now you have a hard drive that's connected to the World Wide Web, the internet. And from there, you're essentially now, you've got a hard drive that anyone can access. So now, you've, you're use, now you have to use software, a program that Western Digital, Seagate, whoever gives you so that now you can access that hard drive through a password through either their website or through an app that you download onto your phone, onto your computer, that kind of thing. You can also map the hard drive. If you want to know how to map a hard drive to your Mac, also link in the description. Mapping a hard drive is essentially just connecting the hard drive uh, to the computer wirelessly. Uh, however, it makes you're basically making your computer think that that hard drive is connected through a wire or just it remembers the hard drives there and it always wants to access it. There's my light. That's my, that's my studio light. Very, very high tech. Hugely high tech. So let's go upstairs and check out what I mean by all this, all this mumble jumble about network attached storage. So that is the Western Digital MyCloud, which is connected through a wire up the wall. Yes, I'm using my flashlight. It is not really all that late at night. However, it, it is winter time. Uh, by the way, Merry Christmas. Well, belated Merry Christmas. And that's my router that I have it connected to. I also have another router down here, and I also have another router in the basement. Yes, I've got many, many, many routers. But anyways, I have that hard drive connected to that hard drive. And then the white hard drive is connected to there. Why I have that connected to my white hard drive? To basically allow that to be extra storage. Yes, making videos takes up lots and lots of hard drive space. So that's why it's connected to there. So that's basically, that's the hard drive connected to there. That's another hard drive. And then I have an internet cable connected from there up to there. And then I set it up. There's a, there's a light. And uh, that is the setup. So it's very, very simple, um, easy, easy setups, unless you want to try and make your own. But if you are lazy like myself, uh, you just basically go out, spend 200 bucks on a Western Digital MyCloud, uh, link in the description again, and uh, you just make your own. And it takes, uh, it was about a, maybe five, 10 minutes setup for somebody who kind of knows what he's doing. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.